And Justin, tonight we are getting word that the principal of Jefferson Town High School has now stepped down. Of course, this coming in light of those uh, incidents last week within the school and so much mm -hmm. turmoil yeah. after it about what happened. Good evening. I'm Rachel Platt. And I'm Doug Prophet. His name is uh, Matt Kingsley. We've just learned about the principal. This is coming just uh, moments ago. Again, we're apparently told he has been is resigning and uh, no surprise there because the, the interim school superintendent, Marty Polio, said when he had that news conference that he was concerned about the culture and direction of that high school, After which he fights. himself had, had run as the principal. And now we have the, uh, the resignation there. But uh, this is all happening there as uh, this uh, school board meeting is tonight. Police, uh, uh, the uh, uh, folks there saying the police went too far for tasing a student. Right, and earlier today there was a news conference. Several groups coming forward saying they thought police went too far and want police out of schools. This is a twofold story again now unfolding right now. Our Tabney Dozier is joining us. And Tabney, this coming on the heels of that news conference, that principal stepping down. Moments ago, I just got the letter, guys, and it says from Matt Kingsley that his resignation is effective this afternoon, that he will no longer be serving as principal of J-Town High, and he requested a voluntary demotion to serve as an assistant principal within the district. Now we know Assistant Superintendent Michelle Dillard will be in charge of the day-to-day -day operations. Guys, this letter does not mention the video you're seeing right now, but as we know, that has caused a big stir throughout the city. The ACLU of Kentucky, it actually says school systems have created a culture of calling on police to enter schools far too often, and officers are using extreme tactics treating the kids as criminals. Black Lives Matter, Louisville showing up for racial justice, asked today that if society is guarding schools like jail cells, where else will these students go? And but last week, just setting the scene, the J-Town Police Department says there were three fights on that day at J-Town High and the student in that fight was arrested. That's when his brother reacted by attacking the officer. But JCPS board member Linda Duncan does not agree with those groups asking for police to be pulled out of school. Go ahead and take a listen. It looks like the kids that, that are out of control will be the ones in charge. So we can't afford that. And uh, I, I'm, overall, in, in general, I am very supportive of having uh, police officers in our buildings. We think the resources would be better used in investing in counselors and de-escalation techniques. Those groups also say public schools should be spaces of learning, not disciplinary precursors to prison. As we know, multiple investigations have been launched after those videos surfaced. Again, this letter says that Matt Kingsley will no longer be the Jefferson Town High School principal effective this afternoon. Board member Chris Kolb, he wants the contract with J-Town police to end and not allow them in J-Town High School. He hopes to, in to introduce that motion at tonight's school board meeting, which starts at 7. We'll have coverage for you on 11 at 11. A lot of developments, guys. We'll go ahead and send it over to you.